Hey, good morning, everyone. It's about five in the morning. I hope you guys are having a great sleep since you're probably not awake. Enjoy the video. Just want to thank you guys again for being here. Um, also, I want to ask you guys, since I never ask in the beginning, if you'd be willing to subscribe and hit the like button to help me out, I'd really appreciate it. I work super hard at this, and I just hope that you guys feel with all the effort I put into it that I've actually earned it. I don't want any free, just, you know, hand me down prescript or subscriptions and stuff. So please help me out and enjoy the video. See you guys soon. What's going on, everybody? It is January 22nd, 2024 in beautiful Big Bear Lake. This is the time, 5.13. We're in my, my new Subaru today, the one that I never drive. It's a beautiful, beautiful beast right here. She is gorgeous. Anyway, we're getting a little bit of a rain-snow mix. And it's been going on for about 20 minutes, so I didn't jump on it right away because it's been mostly rain. But I decided, you know what? I gotta, I gotta come out here and get this. And hopefully we'll get lucky and catch a transition to all snow. That would be nice. Yeah, how you guys doing this morning? Probably sound asleep. I don't blame you. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't pass a single car on Big Bear Boulevard. Not a single car. I'm gonna turn on my steering wheel heater. I forgot I had that thing. I never drive this car. Says uh, the ambient temperature is 36. So of course it, it can snow, but a lot. I, I, I don't know. This is what I do. Come out here anytime we have a change of the weather to show everyone. Because I know a lot of people are excited about coming up here. Still says we could get up to five inches of snow. I spoke with Ben Brissy of Ben's Weather last night, and uh, he, was, he was telling me this could be what happens most of the day a rain, snow, sleet mix. And if that's the case, uh, not, not a good thing for our ski resorts.
supposed to start and it hadn't started quite yet so at about 4.20 I woke up also and uh, <clears throat> and it had just started drizzling I thought I would give it a couple minutes because te the temperature was showing on my phone 35 degrees and I was hoping maybe it would transition real quickly to snow but I couldn't just sit sit back and wait you know I'm very OCD about this stuff guys know as soon as it starts snowing if we don't see any on this drive then uh, I'll be out doing my thing how much gas we got in this car alright we're just we're just under a half a tank I just see a snowflake. Did I just see a snowflake? Maybe. So this this place called Pizza Comma, on the corner of Blue. Sorry, it, it's 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 hard to see it on the corner of Blue Jay and Big Bear Boulevard. It's called Pizza Comma. It's a new pizza place in town. A good friend of mine, his name's Augie. 
he works there super cool cat um, stop in there order pizza from him and uh, yeah just uh, maybe try them out see what you guys think I could I could use a lot of you guys' reviews you know on some of these newer spots so check out pizza comma k-m-a k-a-m-a and as always, don't forget to get your Big Bear Weather and More merchandise. Please go to BigBearWeatherandMore.com. Really great products, high quality stuff. Because the beginning of February, it looks like we have some some serious storms coming through. My long-range forecast is showing snow like every day from January 31st in the evening through February 4th and 5th. And that's as far as my forecast goes. And February is technically the snowiest month in Big Bear on record technically and March is the second snowiest month technically since I've lived up here for nine years Jan this is my uh, actually yeah this this is my ninth January and it's January has been the snowiest month since I've lived here without question I tried getting my wife up to go with us today, but she was just so exhausted. I'm sure she has, I'm sure she has to work today too, so, but we'll try to get her to come along on one of these videos. side of the lake we might drop a degree or two and maybe see a few snowflakes either way again it's what I do I like to bring you guys everything I can look snow plows is chilling and waiting just waiting getting paid big bucks just sitting there So we want to stay in the Big Bear Valley. So we're going to turn right here instead of continuing on Highway 18 out. So now we're on Highway 38. Man, driving over all the stuff that they prep the roads with. It's no bueno for your car. Is 
isn't it interesting how yesterday early morning it can it can absolutely snow at 41 degrees and it's back up to 36 now and no snow not 35 anymore 36 again Show me some love again. Give me some snow. I swear I just saw another snowflake. Yeah, they really put a lot of the treatment down on the roads because they're prepping for, for maybe six inches of snow out of this thing. Just this last 24 hour period. Maybe like 23 hour period from 4 a.m. until uh, 3 a.m. tomorrow. Driving parallel to the lake, but the lake's maybe 30 feet to the right. But I'm telling you, like, I'm, I'm about to fall asleep. This car is just too smooth. I never, ever, you guys, in my wildest dreams, expected Subaru to be this nice. And I have to say, I wasn't much of a Subaru lover. <laughs> Uh, before I moved up here. I never thought I'd be caught dead driving a Subaru. And now it's like my favorite car. See, that's why I don't judge something until you try it. Other people's sub views are simply subjective. Yep, there's a couple snowflakes. And it's 37 degrees now. What's going on here? It's like maybe if we warm up, we'll get more snow. I don't know if you guys can tell, but yeah, there's a couple snowflakes mixed in with this rain right now. I hope we can maintain them at least. But yeah, these are fantastic vehicles. Even my Crosstrek, my, my daily driver, my car that I drive all the time. When I got that brand new in 2019, I was stoked, so stoked. Great car. But then this is the nicest Subaru that Subaru makes. It's the Subaru Outback Touring XT. It has a turbo engine, leather seats, every upgrade you can imagine, sunroof, cameras all over the place. Like it's, it's like everything's automatic. Heated steering wheel, heated and cooled seats. It's got everything. But with the, uh, super just loaded additions it's got like upgraded suspension and this and that it's just a great car so anyone thinking about getting Subaru you're not going to be disappointed and for all you expensive luxury car drivers if you get like the, the Outback Touring XT I don't think you'll, you'll, you'll be bummed So we're coming over towards the Eagle's Habitat. As I keep on obliterating the bottom of my car here. This vehicle, for some reason, I don't know why, but I, I, I always put 91 gas in. I always keep the nicest gas in this car. And then I put the regular gas in my other car. Jeez Louise. I 
I think when it comes to this storm, if, if it does start to snow pretty good, of course we'll be out and recording it once it changes over. My luck, it's gonna be as soon as I'm uploading this video, it's, I'm gonna look out my window and there we go, it's gonna be snow, which means I gotta run right back out. But we're probably gonna get a good uh, Big Bear snow rule video finally. And for those of you who are fairly new, that's just showing you how one side of our little tiny valley gets a lot more snow than the other side regularly. It's, it's not something that sometimes occurs. It occurs every single storm. I guess the extreme, extremely rare example of that not not happening is when a storm comes comes in the back end here and hits Baldwin Lake first, and that is extremely rare. Now, I'll, I'll tell you what though, in the summertime, Baldwin Lake, the part of town that sees less snow, gets hit with heavier thunderstorms. Because all the monsoonal flow hits that side of town first. coming up here soon let me know maybe I can take you for one of these snow rides if you guys are coming up during times when we have storms I love interacting with you guys I love meeting you guys I always have a great time with you guys last person we had cruising with us was Jim Lewis a couple weeks ago and if you guys don't remember so I have no idea who you guys are right like no idea just seem like really nice people so I have no idea what you do for work or anything like that. And when I met Jim, lo and behold, this guy like, like uh, was one of the designers and builders of the Mandalorian for, for Star Wars and lots of, lots of the other spacecraft and, and props. And he's built a lot of really incredibly awesome props that are at different amusement parks and stuff like that and he he showed me like a, a ton of a, t a ton of pictures at his office where, where they build this stuff and uh just wow i couldn't believe it i have to be honest i've i've, I've never been into um non-fiction stuff too often like star wars and star trek and however meeting someone of his caliber who has impacted at least a billion people's lives because I know a lot of a lot of the folks on the planet have seen Star Wars and at least at least half of the people on on the planet I'm sure have heard of Star Wars at least so that's just pretty cool that uh, I got to have someone cruising with me who is that you know that much of a prominent feature or a prominent character out there who uh, has had the ability to impact so many people's lives in a very positive way. Because I know a lot of people love Star Wars. I have heard some of the the uh, much newer stuff is just I don't know. I don't want to be mean, but just super lame. That's. That's what I've heard from a lot of Star Wars fans. Because everyone I know is a Star Wars fan except for me. I'm not saying I'm not a fan. I, I just, I've just never been in into that stuff. And I always wondered why. I, I could never figure out why. You know? As a kid, friends, families and stuff, they would, you know, have like a, like a Star Wars night or stuff like that. I was just never into it. And do you guys love Star Wars? Because we're definitely going to bring Jim along some other time. He came up here just to uh, in, enjoy a little bit of snow. And he's got a nice vacation home up here. He actually in, invited my wife and I uh, to their property in Catalina. I guess they have like the, like the, 
the second um, most land ownership out there, his family, which is pretty awesome. As a kid, we used to go on our boat to Catalina. My mom and dad had a really, really big, big yacht. Back when times were good. And now, God bless them. It hardly, hard, hardly get by. I have to pay for my mom's car for the past five years. But it's, it's truly a gift to be able to do that for her. Because that lady, I put her through so much. I put her through so much. I wasn't a bad kid. I just made a lot of bad choices. But I'll tell, I'll tell you what, you guys. One of the most rewarding things you can do in your life is give back to the people who put up with you for many years, raised you, took care of you. 20 years ago, I never saw that as a possibility. I always thought that my parents would always have, you know? It got so, so bad for them because I was, I, I was really spoiled for, for an awful long time. And it, it got to the point where, you know, if I was in any trouble and I needed help with some money and stuff, there was nothing they could do. And for me, that was the best thing that ever happened to me. Because it forced me to be a man and start doing my own thing instead of always relying on being able to fall back on my parents' success. And it breaks my heart because they both worked really hard. Nothing was ever, ever handed to them like they handed to all, all seven of us kids. I'm so proud to call them my mom and dad, but I do feel just devastated that, you know, my mom's always in tears about finances. And as I said, like one of the greatest gifts that I've ever been able to provide anybody is paying for, for my mom's Subaru every, every, every single month for this, this last month of December was my fifth straight year making my mom's car payments. And it's just it's such, such a beautiful feeling. So if there's a lot of you out there who might be in a trust fund situation or just, you know, have, have had everything handed to you and you don't think that there's any possible way that if, if anything crazy, like your parents losing everything, if that does happen, you feel like you'll, you'll never be able to succeed. And I mean, I'm telling you what, I might not be like super successful, but I've done a lot better than I thought I would ever be able to do on my own. And I promise you guys, if I can, the world's master manipulator for most of my life to get my way, if I can make it and give back, I promise you every single one of you who suffers like I did can make it too. Having every everything handed to you just is is uh, it's one of the worst things that can ever happen to you. <clears throat> but again, <clears throat> my situation changed on a dime. There there wasn't like a like a period of weaning off time. It was it was it was cut off done. Again, if, if I can do it, if, if I can get through life, me, without ever having to have any help from mom and dad, then I know everyone who gets help from their family would be able to do it on their own. It's just, it's a very scary thought. It's a very scary thought. Because as I said, I was a master manipulator. I, I would always... You know, every time my mom would force me to, you know, get a job or she's going to kick me out of the house and stuff, like, like she would be like, you better have a job by Friday or, or you're out. And then a year would go by and I'd still be there. And then, you know, you, you, you know, you need to have a job by this day. 
and I just always manage to manipulate my situation. And uh, again, I, I would not be anything like I am right now if it wasn't for my mom and dad absolutely losing everything. Everything. My mom lives with my older brother now. Because she can't afford to pay her own rent anywhere. And she, of course, pitches in with her social security money and stuff, but it's really heartbreaking, you guys. My dad, he put himself through UCLA and Northwestern Medical School driving a taxi. My mom went to USC. Her, both of their families had nothing. I mean, nothing. But yeah, I don't know why I went on to that topic right now. I really don't. I hope it didn't annoy any of the newer people watching, but I like to talk about things that I've been through and my humility about life and, and uh, just any way I can to try to share some embarrassing things about myself that other people might not ever want to talk about because maybe I can help you, you know? Maybe I can help you. I have to be honest, like, like uh, a couple times over the past nine years, especially as I bought my Harley and got my new car and stuff, it's not often, I think twice I can remember it, people have have like two times left me comments that, that really made me mad like saying hey it must be nice to you know live off mom and dad and uh and drive a harley and cruise around big bear driving in the snow in some nice cars like dude i'm telling you what like that stuff pisses me off so bad so bad and then i always get super upset and respond with like well you know what that's easy for you to say when you're in your mom's basement right now. <laughs> and you know, just, just, I just, I just turn it right back on them. But in, in those situations, I can only imagine someone would be so cruel and so mean to say stuff like that because that's their life. That's what they're going through. But I am so proud of myself, you guys. I am so proud of myself. I started a business up here six and a half years ago. It definitely does well enough to pay all my bills. I do get stressed out about it because, you know, this brand new car payment that I've had for 15 months, plus my Harley payment, my other Subaru payment, my mom's Subaru payment, um, it, it doesn't leave me with much at the end of the month. And half of the time, I'm worried that I won't even be able to pay it. As a matter of fact, a, a few months back, I had to take some cash out on a couple of, of my credit cards to cover some of my bills but thankfully I've been able to pay those back and I now have zero balances again but yeah guys I just believe in yourself believe in yourself again it's it's for like those who like live a trust fund life and um, and live off of the success of your parents and stuff I mean I'm not hating on it I'm not hating on it, but it's going to be a major detriment to to any self-esteem and any growth whatsoever, actually. Um, I always used to worry about, like, uh, you know, what's going to happen if my mom and dad lose everything. I'm not going to be able to survive out here. And crazy enough, it happened. For me, it's been, I think, about... 13 years or 14 years since I haven't had anything to fall back on. And every job that I would get, if I was unhappy for two seconds, I would quit knowing that, you know, I'm living at mom's house or, or something and I can continue to manipulate my way through life. And, and I had a miserable existence, you guys people from the outside were like in a weird way envious because I was just doing what I wanted to do without any responsibility. I'm telling you guys, that's the worst life possible. Now I do what I want to do, but I have to work my butt off all the time. 
but everything I do is something that I love to do. We're at beautiful Bear Mountain, very beautiful Bear Mountain, and it's 34 degrees. We're gonna pull into the parking lot real quick and see if, uh, or you know what? We're gonna go up to Upper Moon Ridge, you guys. That's what we're gonna do. See if we can get down to 33 or 32 and maybe, maybe catch a snowflake. And turn off my seat heater, or I'll turn it down. In this car, I've got three levels of seat heating. And as I said, I can, so that's the seat heater, the orange thing that's on, and that's the seat air conditioner to the left of it. Pretty cool stuff, man. Do, do, do. Be happy. I don't know why I have that song in my mind right now. But thanks for listening, you guys. Again, I know this is a channel about weather and, and this and that, but I've always talked about what I go through in life, what I've been through, my experience, my strength, and my hope. And the good news is, if, if, if you don't like to hear it, you don't have to watch the channel, you know? But if I can impact somebody's life, I will say and do and be as honest as humanly possible. All right, here we go. We're gonna turn left in here and to try to climb some more elevation. The sun's about to start. It's about to start getting a little bit light out here. It's 5:49. It does look like a couple snowflakes, a couple more snowflakes up here. It's still 34 degrees. you see more snow up here because this is Upper Moon Ridge. This is the snowiest area in all of Big Bear. Yeah, we're definitely getting a couple snowflakes up here, so that's good. Of course, the rain is still mixed in with it, but... listening to me you guys if anybody's struggling out there with any of the conversation that I just had with you guys then please contact me I mean contact me don't ever hesitate it's about sharing what you're going through and I will always give you my honest unvarnished opinions about everything There's, there's no one behind us. We're gonna back up and go down this street real quick to head back out just to avoid the rest of Upper Moon Ridge because we're not gonna get any snow. Any real snow at least on this drive. But again, I'll probably be coming back out at about eight or nine. Between eight and noon is looking like that's when the heaviest snow is gonna be crashing in of the whole entire storm, which means if that's the case, it's gonna be the heaviest snow we've seen all season. This car's got some power, seriously. I barely touched this gas and it's just like, see ya. Right, we're back at the bottom of Bear Mountain. Well, you guys, there's Bear right there. You can't really tell, but there's Bear Mountain right there. 
we are we are done with this video right now so as i said i will be coming back out shortly to do some more videos once it changes to snow i wish a lot of these videos or most of them were during the daytime but funny enough i get a lot of comments that say they love the nighttime driving videos so i'll take it but in the meantime uh can you see me in the meantime i love you guys and i hope you guys are having a, a wonderful sleep i will talk to you soon um, don't forget to go to bigbearweathermore.com get your merchandise support the channel you can get puffers like this it says big bear lake on the arm great great stuff great beanies great coffee mugs everything t-shirts just cool cool stuff with uh designs that'll make you laugh and be proud to um and then don't forget for your ski and snowboard rental needs go to get boards on big bear boulevard they have two different stores and they've uh if you bring your own skis and snowboard in, they will wax it for free if you mention the channel. And again, you're, you're, you're probably gonna end up spending money there because they've got some killer, killer stuff there. The most up-to-date, top-of-the-line e equipment for skiers and snowboarders. Um, super knowledgeable staff, awesome people. The owner, Tony, is super awesome. I didn't realize that a really close friend of mine, Taylor, his his girlfriend Lena works there just super cool people um, so yeah go to get boards and if you want to save money on your lift ticket buy it 72 hours in advance at getboards.com it'll save you money compared to going to the ticket window the day of skiing if that made any sense and another little push here is uh, for the ski warrior goggles in the comment section and I believe in the description but in the comment se section is always the most up-to-date stuff if, if I forget to update something for ski warrior goggles they are push to talk goggles um, they're super high-tech super high-end just really 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 awesome they they're sponsoring the channel um, there's a discount code for you you can save quite a bit of money on these very very nice very nice goggles and uh, yeah so hope you guys take advantage of some of this stuff and for now I'm gonna let you guys go but thanks for cruising with me it's 5 55 in the morning 34 degrees and as I said I'm pretty sure while I'm uploading this video we're gonna be running back out to get the snow so talk to you guys later peace out it's January 22nd, 2024. Let's get that snow.